Okay, today now what I'm going to show you how to do is a very, very basic but also very good uh, burger recipe, okay? It's very simple, it's very straightforward, it's quick, it's fast, and it's also very tasty. So, just we got to start off here with um, some very good minced beef, as we call it here, as ground beef, as other people would call it. But it's good quality beef. You want to make sure that, <clears throat> that you get a beef, uh, minced beef that has, you know, a low grade of fat minced through it because it's, it's, when it's cooking or when it's cooked, it's going to taste not particularly nice. So always try and make sure that the, 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 the beef that you're getting is good quality minced or ground beef. Now this is actually ground steak. So, uh, and again, you can see here with the flex that there is a portion of, of fat going through that, but you do need fat going through the actual meat, uh, meat itself to actually help flavor and also keep the burger moist as it's cooking. So here we go, right, starting off, as I said, with the actual beef, right, and it goes. Next, half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, okay, good quality Dijon, straight in. Next, half a teaspoon of ketchup, straight in. Don't worry about mixing it together or getting the flavours or whatever mixed because it's all going to go together anyway. So, straight in like that. Okay, next is, now we're going to be using what's called a Worcester sauce or a Worcestershire sauce, alright? It's basically, it's um, it's quite a very, very, it's very, very strong, very, very potent sauce. So when I say put a dash in, I really do mean put a dash of Worcester in, okay? So a dash. That's it, no more. Next is Tabasco. We want to have a little bit of Tabasco in. Uh, gives it a little bit of a kick, but again, you want to be very, very light on the Tabasco, okay? Don't go too heavy-handed on this, all right? Bit of a shake. And when I say a couple of drops, I really do mean there's only four drops going into that, okay? Now, next is a bit of seasoning, straightforward. Again, as I said, this is a very easy recipe. Now, again, I'm using salt and pepper mixed here. Now, again, if you're going to use seasoning that's already pre-mixed, make sure that you're going to use two salt to one pepper, okay? So, um, straight through and that is actually plenty there now. Now what I want to do is just start off like that, get the rest of the sauce out of that spatula. Okay, that's good enough. Now don't be afraid to use your hands. Get in on this, alright? Get it around like that. Again, make sure you get all the sauces mixed through. Okay. Now, how you know that the actual mix is nice and dry, and actually you don't want a burger mix too wet, alright? Can you see the way here that the actual mince has all come off the side of the bowl, and there's nothing sticky left in that bowl, alright? So, that's it. It's ready now to start shaping. So, you're looking to make a portion, alright? So, one portion fits about in the size of the palm of your hand, alright? So, I'm just going to show you here, here what I'm talking about in relation to a portion. So, that's probably a good portion size there now for anyone, okay? So, how to shape it out is use your palms, your palms of your hands like that. <coughs> Press it down as you're going along, okay? You can see the patty starting to form here, alright? So, that's one. there. You can see the patty taking shape. Now again, this is going to be good because we know that the actual quality of beef that we're using is good, alright? Now, there you go again. Next patty. Okay, it's coming now. And to get the actual ball shape that you can actually press it down into a patty, this is pretty much what you do here. Mince into the centre of the palm, 
other hand on top and roll okay now because the mince mix is actually just right it's actually pulling together quite nicely as you can see here it's coming into a nice shape ball all right now just start to press and press like this all right just rub your hands together like that put a little bit of pressure on okay that's it patty shaped all right now I'm going to start cooking these and I'll bring you back very shortly.